you may have seen my making a DIY hamster cage video in five parts or potentially you're a super fan and you saw all five parts compiled together in one long last video. Think of this as a continuation to that project because this is a shelf that I'm going to be putting into the cage so my hamster has more floor to play with. I've got my six more sheet of wood and now it's time to draw the lines of which I will be cutting along. Curiously circle and crash face forward again and again. I can see the sun. I cannot see a barrier. Though I inspect its surface. All else is dark and that way is light. The faintest leak of air tells me that way. Now that we've got the lines drawn, it's time to get the jigsaw out. Beat against that which I cannot see. Now that I've got the shelf cut out, I'm placing it on top of the cage where I think it should go. You might notice these odd shaped corners. What I'm going to do to get it to slide in perfectly, or near enough perfect, is cut out this almost checkerboard shape. Now I'm not going to do this exactly, I'm not using a ruler or anything, I'm just doing it by eye and drawing what I can see. The reason for this is I'm not too fussed if it's perfect fitting or just slightly wider, because to be honest, I want a bit of leeway to be able to take it out and put it back in. Circle and crash face forward again and again. I can see the sun. I cannot see a barrier. Though I inspect its surface. I can't believe it. It actually slots down the way I want it to. This is probably a first. Anyway, now that it fits, we just need some legs. This wooden dowel that I'm cutting now originally was going to be split into three sections of 18 centimeters. However, it was just a bit too short and I didn't really feel like going out and buying one. So instead, I made the legs 16 centimeters each. It might not be the same as what was said on the sheet, but it's gonna work for what I have planned. So here are the positions of the three legs. I do wish I put the one that's furthest away in a slightly different location to balance it out a bit better, but you live and learn. I've marked three different areas here so I know where I'm drilling through to actually put the legs on. Let's go! Check out my very sexy bottle of hamster friendly glue. Fun fact about this next bit, uh, I'm an absolute dumbass because I screwed the legs on the wrong side of the platform. I wanted the longer bit to be at the back of the cage. So I later off camera fixed that by unscrewing the legs, ripping them off and putting them on the other side. Speaking of things I'll have to redo, I'm currently adding a thick layer of plastico onto the shelf's surface. I cut like I got a mouth full of spit! Anyway, I'm gonna have to redo that entirely because obviously I sprayed the wrong side of the shelf and then I ran out of plastico, so... Yay for spending money! If you're wondering what it does by the way, it's to stop Cloud damaging the wood when he pisses on it. As a temporary solution, I'm just using sticky back plastic over the top of it until I can buy some more plastico. Oh, and as a side note, don't be an idiot when you use this thing. I like to give it a 48 hour curing period. You know, because I don't want to risk death at all. I'm a good dad, okay? Part 2 of this vid is a random addition I just randomly decided to do, hence the random part. And look at me go, literally recording this narration an hour before the whole video is supposed to go out. My god I leave things to the last minute really bad! Anyway, I just thought it would be really cool if I had like a dangling object. Why does that sound weird? Uh, something that's just under the shelf, you know, hanging by a screw or nut or bolt or something. And I decided to get this coconut, which I've had for a while, and just drill a hole in it and tighten a bolt and nut around it. You'll see, you'll see. 